about 10 years ago, I had this fantasy that we would be able to fly UAVs off a ship to extend our view from the bridge to give us eyeballs over the horizon. This cruise is a culmination of both those dreams. Okay, everybody on the deck ready? To be able to autonomously fly a UAV from a ship, to locate trichodismium patches and map them, to study the sea surface in a way which has never been done before, and to launch a new era of oceanographic exploration. These were our goals. It is rare that we can actually hit all those objectives on a single cruise, and that we were able to do on this one. Our project is the culmination of 10 years of research and development. We have spent the last five weeks pushing the boundaries of technology as we strive to achieve the aims of our ambitious project. We have discovered large patches of pumice and expanses of trichodismium extending kilometers into the horizon, which both showed clear evidence of near-surface ocean heating. You know, to kind of see them up close and then to kind of see them stretch out for miles. No, it was just breathtaking. It's kind of everywhere. Do you want to just sample where we are? I think in the second week, one of my colleagues asked me, um, how is it going? Uh, and my response was, um, I fall in love with the Falco again. And amongst many other achievements, we have perfected the ability to use UAVs as our eyes beyond the horizon to explore the ocean beyond our previous capabilities. All in all, this cruise has been a huge success for everyone involved. Now that we're coming to the end, we'll take it all home and then we'll start tying together the different measurements that we've made. So we'll tie together the measurements made on various UAV platforms with measurements made on the ship um, and measurements made on SPIP and the catamaran and we'll try to start to build a picture of the processes that happen in the presence of slicks, of trico and of pumice. How are these affecting the physical processes of the upper ocean? This last six weeks are just the beginning of the next two, three years of analysis and work that will be done on this project. The complex and wide-ranging data set collected during this cruise will allow us to better understand how our ocean will react to a changing climate and ultimately how humankind can better prepare for its future on this planet.